Shalom, most high in Christ, blessed. I'm Officer Elijah with IUIC Birmingham, and we here at Bluff Hall Plantation, built in 1832 by our brothers and sisters, by slaves. And the reason why this happened, the reason why the Most High God allowed this to happen, is because of our sin. We gotta come back and know that we under the curses that were given by God for breaking his laws. Now I want to read something in this Bible real quick. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh-huh. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, mm -hmm. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now this Bible is a living history book. We would not have plantation houses all out through the South if this Bible weren't a real book. So we have to realize this Bible is a real book and come back to laws, statutes, and commandments. Now we're gonna go back to the slave cabin to show you even more examples of our oppression in this I land of America. Say I'm not attached to a thing. This world pass away, Babylon gonna burn up in flames. This world pass away, pick up the chosen where they lay. This world pass away, this world pass away, this world pass away. Everything in the earth will be burned up. Better All right, Shalom Israel, we in the back of Bluff Hall Plantation, back to the slave quarters, where our people lived at and had to work out of, and so, we come back here to show you the con living conditions that our people was in. When, when God says he's going to punish us, he's really punished us. If you see the difference between this house and that house, between how we lived and how our oppressors lived. Nobody upon the face of this planet went through the oppression that we went through. Read what you got. Daniel chapter 9 verse 11. Come on. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law, uh -huh. even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. The what? The curse is poured upon us. Come on. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses. Because we made an oath. We made an oath with the Most High God saying that we're going to do all these all this commandments. We did not do it, so the curses came upon us. Come on. The servant of God, because we have sinned against him, and he have confirmed his words, which he spake against us, uh -huh. and against our judges that judged us. By bringing upon us a great evil. A what? A great evil. Because it's a great evil they had to work all day long in a cotton field, a sugar cane field, bailing hay. Oh, no matter what, all manner of service, racking that stuff up and bringing it to the river so it can be shipped off by the boats. That's a great evil. It's not good. We had to come back and keep the laws of God. That is good. Come on. For under the whole heaven have not been done, as hath been done upon Jerusalem. Can't no other nation say they went through that. Can't no other nation say they went through the oppression, Jim Crow laws, uh, civil rights, all the, all the different things for over 400 years in this land of America called Babylon in the Bible. So we got to come back to the laws of God, know who we are, that we are Israel, and we got to keep God from Babylon up all like Mount Fuji. These brothers be switching up. Comma, comma, chameleon. When I was in the world, used to lust after money.